Hello everybody, this is Hammer Striker here. Today I've got the new H&K CC9 and two of its competitors, the Hellcat from Springfield Armory and the Hellcat Pro from Springfield Armory. Please don't forget to check out our website. Go to our affiliates page. You'll find discount codes for things like Mantis Axe and Core Belts, linked to that cool little bore light that we use for lighting up the barrels. Use those links, it will often save you money never will cost you any additional money and helps the channel. And please consider supporting the channel on Player, formerly Utreon, where we can do some types of videos that are no longer allowed on YouTube. So the HK CC9 has decided to enter that micro-compact territory, uh, but they're kind of on the edge of it. When you look at this, it's almost a little too big for that because it's got a longer grip. So it actually, instead of being directly competing with either the Hellcat or the Hellcat Pro, it kind of fits right in between them. And let me show you what I mean. So don't mind the fact that this one's got an optic and a laser on it and the other Hellcat's got an optic on it. The CC9 is optics ready as well and it does have a Picatinny rail. So you could do the same thing to it. So it's, it's not necessarily being compared to a capability it doesn't have. It has those same capabilities. But if you look at it, when you look at the slides, the H&K is a hair longer than the Hellcat slide. Not huge, but just a little bit longer. But I'm going to turn it around. The grip is noticeably longer. And gonna, because these have optics on them, it's going to be difficult to line them up, so I'm just going to hold them. But you see the grip is a lot longer than the original Hellcat. But if I do the same comparison to the Hellcat Pro, the Hellcat Pro has a longer slide, so it's kind of the opposite relationship. And the Hellcat Pro has a bit longer grip. I forgot to put a flush mag in the Hellcat Pro. Got to do this as equally as possible. So the H and K just kind of fits in the middle, and actually the numbers kind of support it. So the Hellcat itself has a six-inch slide. The H and K has a 6.03, and the Pro Hellcat Pro has a 6.6, .6, so it's right in the middle. The grip height on the original Hellcat is 4 inches, 4.6 inches on the CC9, and 4.8 inches on the Hellcat Pro. Width is roughly the same. They're, the Hellcats are uh, advertised as an inch. The CC9 is 0.99. That 0.01 isn't going to make a difference. So for all practical purposes, they're the same thickness. And weight's the same thing. So the original Hellcat, of course, without the light and laser, the optic and laser, just the Hellcat itself, is 17.4 ounces, or I'm sorry, 17.9 with a fl uh, the flush mag. Next at 20.4 is the CC9, and then at 21 is the Hellcat Pro. From a grip texture perspective, the Hellcat has this kind of a sandy texture grip. It's really comfortable, it's really easy to get a hold of, it stays in your hand, but it's not so grippy that it tears you up, it doesn't abrade your skin. And it's got texture for your thumb rest. It's got texture up here. Uh, it does have a smooth front on the trigger guard. There's no serrations up there for locating ham, but it's got all the right grip features. The back straps are not replaceable on the Hellcats. The CC9 uh, lacks the thumb grip positioner, but it does have one up here. It does have the smooth trigger guard, and it's got this grip texture here. And I found it, it, both of them are easy to get a hold of. The CC9 does have a feature the Hellcats don't, which is a replaceable back strap. So it comes with this medium back strap that's on it. It also comes with a larger back strap. So that's one feature that the CC9 offers that the Hellcats don't. The slide serrations are present front and rear on both. The serrations on the Hellcat are a little more stylish. They kind of got this double loop thing going on. They're a little more interesting to look at. But I will say that the serrations are a little deeper, a little more pronounced, and a little easier to use on the CC9, especially if you have compromised hand strength. You're going to get into them and get a hold of them. They're actually a hair sharp on the edge, just a little bit, but they're, they're not bad. But I would say if, if you've got any kind of a weakness in your fingers, you're probably going to have a little easier time making sure you stay on the HK ones versus the Hellcat. The Hellcat is just a little nicer to look at. It's just a little more styled up. From a sight's perspective, we'll start with the H&K. It has a tritium front sight with a green ring on it and a blackout rear. I'm not a fan of blackout sights. I have a harder time shooting them well. And I was able to, the gun is mechanically accurate. 
but I had to work at it to pull tight groups with it because it's a little harder to line up the sights. Now ignoring the red dot, all of the Hellcats have a tritium front sight with a ring on it and they have the U at the back and they're very easy to see, they're very easy to use. So with or without a red dot, you're gonna have a very easy time finding your target with the Hellcat and staying on target. And the same is true of the Pro, you just basically have a slightly larger grip. Now the optic that happens to be on the Pro does block the sights a little bit, but that's not the Hellcat design, that's just which optic you've got. You know, this optic on the littler Hellcat does a good job allowing you to look through it. That's just gonna come down to your choice of optics. Capacity, uh, it's interesting in that the CC9 doesn't fit in the middle of the pack. It actually sits at the bottom of the pack. Not by much, but it sits at the bottom of the pack. It's flush magazine, holds 10 rounds, and then it does have a pinky extender magazine, which is right here, that holds 12 rounds, and it gives you a full three-finger grip with the pinky extender. But of course, now you're making a long grip a little bit longer but you end up with 12 rounds. This gun's new. The 10 and the 12 are the magazines available for it. Whether more magazines with larger capacity become available is to be seen. The regular Hellcat, on the other hand, has an 11 round flush magazine. I can get you where you can see it. It has an 11 round flush magazine. And because it's a micro compact, it's a two finger grip. That's by design. However, it does have a 13 round magazine available that gives you a full three finger grip kind of puts it roughly equal to the cc9's grip but it also can use the 15 and 17 round magazines that are available for the pro and of course the pro is not trying to be super small so it is a three finger grip but this is 15 rounds so from a capacity perspective the cc9 is definitely not low capacity by any stretch of the imagination but it is the least capacity available, both in the flush mag and then in optional mags of either of the Hellcats. Part of that, the Hellcat's been around longer, so it's had a chance to create uh, larger magazines. But even from the very beginning, from day one, when the Hellcat was first released, its flush mag was 11 rounds. And of course, that was during the early days of the micro compacts when everybody was fighting over that extra round. They wanted the smallest possible gun with the most capacity. 10, 11, 12 was the kind of the fighting point going on at that point. From a trigger perspective, both have nice triggers, both have different triggers. A lot of the trigger is going to come down to your personal preference. So the trigger on the HK has about that much take up. And it's kind of got a little bit of a vaguer wall. You pull through it. It has a very short reset, but it does bounce to come off the reset. It, when, you, when you get the reset, you are going to get a little more travel before you, you realize that you've reset. And then again, a really short break. It has a nice trigger, it's relatively light. I'm gonna use the Hellcat Pro because I don't want that trigger shoe to muddy the waters. This is a bone stock trigger, nothing changed. About the same amount of take up. A defined crisp wall. It's a little bit heavier of wall, not much, but it's very defined and very crisp. The reset is a little bit longer, but you're right on the wall every time. And then again, a very defined, crisp, nice wall. Personally, I like the, this style trigger better. It just fits me better. I'm not saying the CC9 is a bad trigger. Oops. I'm not saying the CC9 has a bad trigger by any stretch of the imagination. It's actually a pretty good trigger. But for my shooting style, the Hellcat trigger fits me just a little bit better. You see they both have the inertial toggles. Uh, they both have internal drop safeties. And the Hellcats are now available with a thumb safety. It's not my preference to have a thumb safety, so I don't have one, but they are available with the thumb safety. Uh, as of the making of the video, the CC9 does not have a thumb safety option, and I don't see really where in the styling of the gun it would fit. So I, I don't know if they actually ever have plans to produce one. Thumb safeties are a must for some people, and other people like me, I, I only like them on 1911s and guns that absolutely need them. Otherwise, I prefer the inertial and internal drop safeties, especially with striker guns. I find that the Hellcat grip, whether it's the regular Hellcat or the Pro, fits my hand just right. So when I pick it up, I'm right there. It just fits. The grip on the CC9 is a comfortable grip. It's a good grip, but it just doesn't seem to be quite right for my hand. So when I pick it up, then I got to do a little adjustment. That's going to come down to your hand. That's not saying one gun's better than the other. It's just going to come down to your hand. 
you may pick up the CC9 and be right on, on par with it and pick up the Hellcat and have to adjust. It's all going to come down to your hand. I got slightly large hands. They're not huge, but they're, they're not small. And uh, for me, the uh, CC9 just doesn't fit quite as well as the Hellcat does. Overall, quality, I, I would say, is going to be on par with both of them. Springfield, uh, we've got lots of Springfields. They're proven. They work well. They're very reliable. Uh, H&K has a long-standing track record of military operation and everything else. H&Ks are known for quality. So I think whether you decide to go the Hellcat route or the CC9 route, you're going to get a quality gun. The other place that's kind of interesting that the CC9 doesn't come in in the middle, it kind of comes in really north towards the bottom of the, pro of the spectrum is in price. So unusual for HK, this is, doesn't have a comma in it. Its MSRP is $600. The original Hellcat has an MSRP between $599 and $843. And by the way, at the $843, you're getting it tarted up with, you know, coming with optics from the factory, lasers and that type of stuff. Uh, but the OSP, so take this gun, take the laser off it, take the optic off it. Just this gun, optic ready, is six thirty three. So it'd be thirty three dollars more in the CC nine. And the Hellcat Pro, the way it would actually work better if I actually picked up the Hellcat Pro. The Hellcat Pro starts at six forty nine and goes up to a thousand fifty. And again, at that thousand fifty, it's coming from the factory, all tarted up with uh, lasers and optics and things like that. But they're comparable price. So the spread to get an apples to apples, the bare gun, optic ready, just like you would see here, uh, is a spread of 600 for the CC9 up to 649 for this and the regular Hellcat in the middle. So you're talking a $50 spread. That's generally not going to be a decision point. It's not like you're talking a couple hundred dollars or in H&K's typical reputation, a comma, because they, they didn't put it into that price point. Overall, I kind of prefer the Hellcats, just personally. I like the sights better, uh, the grip just fits me better, and the trigger is more suited to what I like for a trigger. But I would say you'll do well with either one of them. Personally, I would pick up the Hellcat just because that's what fits me. Uh, but the CC9, I think, is actually a pretty good gun and probably would serve you well if that's what fit you well. Beyond that, if you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up. Share, subscribe, click that bell up there to be notified if you do. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Play, or Rumble. We're pretty much everywhere. And thank you.